today in number system we'll check conversion of decimal into p by q form that means given decimal you have to convert into p by q form let us check some examples how to convert decimal into p by q form common example of decimal 0.3333 and so on we consider this as y now here we observe that only one number is recurring one number is repeating therefore we multiply this y by 10 we get 10y equals to 3.3333 and so on now subtracting this second equation from first we get 9y equals to 3 that is y equals to 3 by 9 so is 1 by 3 that is given number 3.33 given number 0.3333 equals to 1 by 3. Now let us check second example. I read y equals to 0.757575 and so on. Here we observe that two numbers are repeating again and again. That is 0 0.7, that is 75, 75, 75, 75 again, again. Two numbers are recurring therefore multiply this y by 100 100y equals we get 75.757575 and so on now subtracting this second equation from first we get 99y equals to 75 that is y equals to 75 by 99 that is of the form p by this is of the form P by Q. Let us check some more example. Here I write 0 0.1777 and so on. Here we observe that after decimal first number is not recurring second number is recurring since only one number is not recurring multiply this y by 10 first we multiply y by 10 we get 1.777 and so on now since one number is repeating one number is recurring multiply this 10y by 10 10y by 10 we get 100y equals to 17.77 and so on. Now subtracting this first equation from second, 100y minus 10y, we get 90y equals to 17 minus 1, 16, this 0.777 get cancelled. We get y equals to 16 by 90. This is of the form P by Q. One more example. Y equals to 0 0.123333 and so on. Now here we observe that after decimal there are two numbers which are non-recurring and from third number we get recurring numbers. That means first two are non-recurring number. Therefore, multiply this first equation by 100. We get 100y equals to 12.3333. Now, let us check how many numbers are recurring. Only one number is recurring. Therefore, multiply this equation by 10. We get 1000y equals to 123.333 and so on. Now, subtracting this 100y from 1000y we get 0, 0, 0,0900y equals to 123 minus 12, 3 minus 2, 1, 2 minus 1, 1, 101, 11, y equals to 111 upon 900, that is of the form P by Q. Now, some more examples. Let us check 
what is the shortcut method for conversion of decimal into p by q form our first number 0.3333 and so on first write this number into reduced form 0.3 recurring therefore i put here bar since one number is recurring our answer is 3 by 9 that is 1 by 3 our second example 0.75 75 75 and so on since here two numbers are recurring we write in reduced form 0.75 bar that is two numbers are recurring we write 75 by 99 this is of which form p by q form next suppose there are three numbers are repeating 1 2 3 1 2 3 like that we get 0.123 as reduced form 1 2 3 upon 999 is the answer our next example 0.1777 and so on now write in reduced form only 7 is repeating now let us check let us observe which is the method to write this first write this 17 as it is here which number is non recurring here one is non recurring therefore we subtract one from 17 the number which is non recurring always we subtract from this number next step since one number is recurring we write here 9 and again non recurring number is also one single number we write here 0 that is 16 upon 90 is the answer next 0 point we write 14555 we write in reduced form 0 point 145 here i put bar first i write 145 as it is here 14 or non recurring number therefore subtract here 14 then only one number is recurring i put here 9 two numbers are non recurring for that non recurring number we put two zeros 145 minus 14 5 minus 4 1 331.900 is the p by q form of this number 101.14555 now let us write formula for this if one number is recurring a a a we write reduce form a by 9 a b a b and so on two numbers are recurring we write reduce form a b a b upon 99 if numbers are like this a b c b c b c and so on first i write Reduce form zero point a b only c is recurring a b c non recurring number a b subtract that a b upon only one number is recurring therefore I write here nine and two numbers are not recurring for these two numbers I put here two zeros answer is a b c minus a b upon nine hundred from all these examples. you get idea how we convert decimal into p by q form you practice some more sums for better result